I wasn't planning on videoing today, but it happens to be a nice, cool, but nice day outside today. And they've started playing Christmas music early. I think way too early. But anyway, it got me in the mood for cookies. So I thought to myself, all right, there's one cookie that I definitely would eat all the time. And then I thought to myself, you know what? Let me share it with you because it really is a, a, a good cookie and a very, a very healthy one. So um, I also want to say about, about this cookie, it also is kind of like um, something that you could eat for breakfast. Actually, I do eat it for breakfast when I'm in a really big hurry because as you'll see, it has a lot of, um, a lot of nutrients in it. So first of all, here we have, uh, I have a half a cup of uh, almond flour. Now, as I always say, this is the way I eat. But if you want to do, you know, regular flour or a wheat flour, you certainly could do that, you know, with this cookie. And I also have a half a cup of uh, rolled oats. We're going to put these into our, you know, into our bowl here. Then what we need is we need, uh, let me see, we need a half a, a teaspoon of, um, of baking powder. So in goes a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we'll uh, put in, well, we always need a little bit of salt. So I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt uh, here to go in. And then, of course, the nutmeg. And all we need of the nutmeg is about an eighth of a, of a teaspoon. Um, it's kind of funny now, when I get done making these today, I'll have to make the rounds to my kids' homes. Because if I kept them here, believe me, I would be eating them. And I'd be eating too many. <laughs> Sometimes it's just hard to resist things that you know that are really, really, <laughs> really, really yummy. So I'm going to move this to give me a little bit more room. Give me a second here. Alrighty. And uh, actually, I should have turned the Christmas music back on. I, I've been playing it all morning long. And anyway, what we want to do is we want to just give this a good mix. You know, sometimes the almond flour, if you're familiar with it, the almond flour, you know, it has some chunks in it. So you really do want to get them uh, broken up. The other thing that I really, really like about this cookie recipe is I don't have to take out my beater. I hate taking out the beater. I have to wash it and all that. I always prefer a cookie that I can... Um, you know, just mix all up in a, in a bowl. So that's what we're doing here. We're just breaking this up and giving this a good, a good mix. I know you're going to like this, so I really want you to, to try them. If you're somebody who has a family that's coming during the holidays and they're staying at your house, uh, this is, like I say, a nice cookie that perhaps you would want to, uh, you know, give them one of these cookies with a, uh, you know, with a cup of coffee uh, in the morning. It's really, really nice. Now, I have a couple eggs here. So we're gonna break a couple eggs into this bowl. Just like this. This is so simple, it really, really is. Put this over here. There I go with washing my hands constantly. I notice when I look at my videos, I do, wow. Gosh, I wash my hands a lot. <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna give our eggs just a little beat, you know, to, to break them up. Um, it's just always hard to mix your other ingredients with your eggs unless the eggs are, you know, uh, broken up. But anyway, like I said, I, you know, I thought to myself when I was getting on all the ingredients, I thought, gee, you know, I know the people that, you know, listen to me might want to hear this uh, recipe. Anyway, so we have those broken up. And then I have here, I, I have um, one eighth cup of unsweetened uh, applesauce that I'm gonna put in here. I don't think I need this anymore. So that's one eighth of a cup of applesauce going in here. You know, that's gonna be, some, even though it's unsweetened, you gotta remember it still has the natural, you know, sugars in it. And then I have an eighth of a cup of organic maple syrup. Now eighth of a cup, there we go. Give it a little, a little uh, sugar here, I guess. But once again, you know, it's 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 natural it's natural sugar, so it really, you know, isn't bad, you know, for you. Then here comes the oil. Now, um, 
as you probably realize by now, you know, I don't use actually too many regular oils like that. But this is a um, coconut oil. So we're going to put in, um, I think this was, uh, what this is a quarter of a cup. Yeah, it's a quarter of a cup of um, coconut oil. I think this time when I post this, I think I'll put the recipe, you know, on, um, you know, on the uh, uh, channel so that you can, so that you can see it. And then what I'm going to mix in here is I have one third cup of shredded uh, carrots, real easy. All this was was like one medium carrot, you know, and just shred it. And the nice thing about this recipe, it's really kind of giving because, you know, if you don't have the, you know, the one third of a cup, if you have a little less, fine. If you have more, well, that's fine too, you know, put it in. So we're going to put in the... Um, carrots. If you like a uh, carrot cake, I think you'll really like this cookie. And then I have, uh, I have a quarter of a cup of coconut that's going in here. I have a quarter of a cup of the dried cherries. On the dried cherries, what I buy is I always buy the one with a 50% less, less sugar. And you'll see when you eat this cookie, you, you just really don't eat it. And then I have a quarter cup of walnuts. Now, I'm big on nuts, you know. So uh, there's probably a little more than a quarter, quarter of a cup here, but that's okay. <clears throat> the nuts bind. Nuts will bind a product. So um, in this particular, um, you know, cookie, where I'm using uh, the coconut oil and where I'm using, um, you know, the applesauce, um, it's not so bad to have a little extra nuts to help bind this cookie, you know, bind this cookie together. So we want to give this a good stir, you know, mix this up. Looks good. To me, that looks good. You know, if you don't want to put the dried cranberries because you don't like cranberries, you can put in regular raisins, you know, you can put in the black raisins, the white raisins. Oh, I can tell you a cute story about raisins. When my grandson was, uh, younger he was here and he always liked raisins and then all of a sudden uh, i had given him raisins this particular day that he was here he was sitting there and he he got all panicking and he go grandma there's something wrong with your raisins so what do you mean there's something wrong with my raisins because they were white <laughs> yeah it was really really cute there's nothing wrong with my raisins he just had only been accustomed to you know the, the black raisin but anyway so then like I say, this is so easy. Then we're going to take this and mix it with our dry ingredients. And it's important to get it mixed really, really well. So we'll put this in here. And I know already, I mean, already I can taste this, this cookie. My daughter, well, one of my daughters knew I was making these today. And she's like, oh, I go, okay. You know, after I get them out of the oven today, I'll drop, because my children live, live close by. I said, okay, I'll make the rounds, bring everyone uh, some cookies. Uh, and I'm also going to make a pumpkin pie today. I keep trying um, with um, a pumpkin pie with, you know, a heck of a lot less sugar and uh, without any dairy. And I um, haven't been too successful, successful um, with it, but, you know, I'll keep going until I find something that I really, really like. And then I'll share that with you. But these cookies, like I say, I really, really like. Oh, and I might even add, too, so if I don't uh, forget, is what I do with these is, well, there's probably a couple of reasons why I do it. After I make these, I, um, you know, I have them sitting there, and I always think to myself, okay, if I put them in the refrigerator, I won't eat them, which is half true, because I'll still go to the refrigerator to eat one. But anyway... So this is it. This is all you do. You know, normally, anything that I make, because I'm always giving everything, you know, to my, my kids and stuff, normally I would double this or triple, you know. But uh, seeing as I don't want them too many of this kind of thing in my house, because I will want to eat it, um, <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today. I'm just making a single recipe here. And um, you can make them as, you know, as, as big or as, uh, or as small as you want. I don't make them, you know, real big. I'll show you what I do. There you go. 
cookie sheet here. It you need two cookie sheets if you want to do them. I, you know what? I never do that, you know. I always wait for them to cool. And that's another thing, after they come out of the oven, you do want to make them cool on the, um, you know, on the tray. So I just look at this. I don't even dirty an extra spoon. I just, you know, put them right here on my parchment paper. I like using parchment paper. When I had the bakery, um, we had those huge, 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 you know, sheets of parchment paper. And boy, it was really a big help when it came time to, um, you know, uh, my crew cleaning up and so forth, you know. You didn't have all that problem on the, uh, you know, on the cookie sheet that you had so much to, to clean. So anyway, this is uh, how I do it. Now they aren't going to spread. Um, so, well, I shouldn't say that. They spread for a tiny bit, you know, but not enough to, not enough to worry about how far they have to be apart. And also, you know, we're going to put this into an oven at, um, three, 350, yeah, 350 for about 12 minutes. But, um, if they aren't nice and brown on the bottom, you know, this is an extremely, as you could probably figure out, extremely moist cookie so um uh, anyway you want to make sure that they're they're cooked through but you want it nice and brown on the bottom uh, they'll still look practically the same on the top but um i'm just gonna go like this because i'm gonna do I have to do another tray anyway i'll go like this and just like this and then we'll put these in the in the oven so i'm gonna put these in the oven for um i'm gonna look at them at, after you know 12 minutes and um then i'll uh i'll show you what they what they look like and they they look really good too bad i can't give you one anyway so i'm gonna take this to the oven right now so here we are they're out of the oven and they're nice and cool you want to make sure when you do take them out of the oven that you leave them on the tray uh, to, to cool. Now, like I said, these make a great little breakfast, uh, especially like, you know, for some people don't eat breakfast, but this is a nice little uh, healthy, nutritious <laughs> type cookie, cookie. But these are, these are, you know, anytime, anytime you eat these, you know, these, these cookies, and I know you'll like them, but you know, as I always say, you know, I, because of, my cancer, there's a certain way that, that I eat, and, and my whole purpose in being here is to get people to, you know, watch what it is they're eating and um, to help prevent cancer and to help people um, not to get cancer again or get it in another, you know, area of the body. So if, if that's not a big concern to you, you know, you can switch the almond flour to a regular, you know, flour to an all-purpose flour, but yeah, once again, as I've said, if you're going to have an all-purpose flour, make sure um, you you don't uh, buy it with all the uh, chemicals, you know, in it. So um, anyway, this is, um, you know, like I say, this is a fabulous little cookie. I know you'll like it. Just make it for yourself, especially like if you're if you're if you're having a family, you know, come during the holidays, make it ahead of time so you know what it you know what it what it tastes like, but. You know, uh, a cup of coffee, and uh, you could satisfy your uh, satisfy your morning guests. I know, you know, everybody. You know, when family comes, it, it can be uh, it can be chaotic. But anyway, I wanted to share that uh, that cookie with you, and I do hope you I do hope you you like it, and I hope you can you can see it. Like I say, you know, a cup of coffee for you, a cup of co coffee for a mom or sister or brother or whoever it is that you have you know, staying at your, um, at your house. So for now, bon appetit. And until we talk next time, siate felici. Bye-bye now.